All right, so now we're going to have a little bit deeper understanding of UVs. And the reason for this is because I want to also cover texture resolution. Because not all textures are very high res textures. And you might be employing something like a texture bake, uh, which requires a little bit more UV space and to utilize your UV space 100%. So uh, load your previous lesson where it says like room one. You know, so you have this one that you've been working on, it's done, it's all ready to go. And then I want you to save scene as and call this room 2B. Okay, so now the idea behind this is to look at the UV space. So let's go in here, UV texture editor. And right now, what I had to do in the previous video was set all the UVs up into this corner. Uh, this is the corner, the zero to one corner. But what I wanna do is show you that there is another way to do this. And the, the deal is, if you look at some of the textures here, so you can pan through your textures if you want to, just using your texture thing. If you look through the textures, you're gonna find a lot of cases where um, it takes so many times to tile that you lose texture resolution, okay? So now, uh, this will work right here in Unity as long as you don't do a texture bake, okay? And if you want Unity to run off several, several maps at the same time, so several textures all in Unity, you always have to joggle and toggle between those, okay? The other solution would be that one texture runs the entire show. So in order to do that, we have to have more resolution. So we have to kind of divide these up a little bit better. And then we introduce the one to one ratio where everything is taken up fully on this, this grid. So this grid, you don't have to stay up in the corner if you don't want to, you can also go outside the grid. I would highly recommend just going into these areas of the grid for right now until you realize that it does tile over and over and over again throughout eternity. Okay. So that's the nice thing about Unity. It does understand a one-to-one -one ratio on UVs. With some game engines, it doesn't. It stays within the lawful area of zero to one. So that means what I could do here is I can put this guy over here, okay? I can put maybe these down here, and I could put this one maybe somewhere around here. Also, I noticed there's a lot of wall space here. So let's kind of look at this. Maybe, Instead of having all the walls cramped up now that we have a lot more room to play with, I can grow outside that and say, well, maybe this one should go here. And then these can grow. And maybe they can grow this way also. If you highlight, and I grew those out as a, as a one huge entity. Notice I did that. I uniformly scaled them as a block. Okay, it's important because you want all the texture space to be the same. So now look what happens. Um, now it seems that I have tiled it over too much. So now, uh, what will happen? I can back some tiling off. The more you tile, the less resolution you get. So the idea here is to tile less in cases where you're gonna to need to bake textures. So in this case, I can back this off to maybe five now and get the same, and get the same look as I did before. There we go. 
All right, same thing with these walls. It's a this is one of those things. UVs probably are the most tedious thing sometimes. I I like doing them. It it feels like I'm playing Tetris. But if you're not from the era of Tetris, which is kind of odd to say, um, you will probably not like UVs. You will find them uh, tedious, laborious, <laughs> and downright stupid at times. But UVs are fun to play around with, as long as you know what the, what the rules of UVs are. Okay, so again, I'm just going to uniformly scale these up. And then tile them out. Now I can shrink them down just a little bit. That that will apply, so I can play around with some of the uh, processes here, where you know, like if I need to drag this top one up. Let's see. So you can see that these don't match, right? And if I shrunk them in, they would. Okay, another quick and dirty way to do this is to grab all the faces and redo a cylindrical mapping. So if I do a cylindrical mapping, you'll find that it shoots over to this place over here. And now, now they're all at the one to one ratio. And these are at a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you ever lose the one-to-one -one ratio, you can redo your UVs quickly. Just drag them over here. Again, squish them together. And we'll call this my top area. And I'm just going to try to make perfect squares. So this one might fit up here a little bit better. Just like that. So now these sort of match a little bit better. And when I scale them together, they'll stay at the same texture resolution. go and now I have a, enough room to play around with the the layout of them so here I want this and here I'm just getting it so it lines up a little bit better like that. So now they're lined up a little bit better all the way across. Okay. So for this floor part, is it really important that these all stay together as one piece? Absolutely not. So this is a little bit different story, which I'll show you that in the next video.